You're watching KPBI News at 10, news that works for you. Can you believe this? The arcade game Asteroids turns 40 years old this year. <laughs> and the phrase, everything old is new again, couldn't be more true than with a business that has opened in Pocatello. We headed out to Center Street to check out Barricade. Matt Davenport out here in Pocatello, the site of Barricade with Tara and Bronson. Thank you so much for joining us and letting us come out. This is kind of unique. Tell us a little bit about this business, Barricade. Oh, well, it was Bronson's idea to start this business, and I think it's a wonderful one because we don't have anything like this in Pocatello. We have a, a lot of wonderful bars in the area, and we do have some great local arcades, but we don't have the two of them combined together, and that has been an, uh, a good trend that's been happening across the country, and we wanted to take advantage of that. Now, Bronson, she said this is your fault, so <laughs> tell me a little bit about the thought process. What sparked the idea for this? It was, uh, it was kind of a while ago. It was started with that, that old bar, Dudley's. It shut down maybe 20 years ago. Um, so that was my original plan, was to start in there. Um, but it, it was kind of a pipe dream. I thought, first I'll win the lottery, <laughs> then I'll do this. So it didn't, didn't pan out like that. Okay. Um, then just kind of life went on, and I, I just started like, saving up money, mostly for retirement. And then, uh, then I realized I looked at it and realized I could probably make this possible. So. And, and so you guys opened up this business, and it combines classic retro that, you know, growing up in the arcade, which I'm very, very familiar with, with something for uh, the 21 and up crowd. So tell me how that has been working out for you. It's been great so far, and one thing I want to let people know is that we have a, uh, we have a nice wine selection, and we plan on expanding on that. Uh, I bought one of those wine dispensers where you that they used to have at the tasting room and at Marigold's, uh, so we'll be able to have some, in, excuse me, a variety of wines upscale and, and medium variety. So I'd like to, I know that the wine scene is growing in Pocatello, and we'd like to become part of that, and, and we also have some good craft beers, and we'd like to expand on that too once we learn our demographic. Very nice. Now, Bronson, I'm looking at some of these arcades. How did you find these? Oh, uh, multiple sources. Uh, I started out, my first game was actually Asteroids, and that's why, well, that's like a huge amount of my branding. You'll see like all the, all the barricade signs. They're branded all around Asteroids. Um, as I went on, I, um, I, got, I got kind of sources from this first person that I bought the games from, and he directed me in the right direction to go as far as um, the right sources. Um, so I bought a lot of these in just bulk, bulk lot. I mean, probably like 11 or 12 games, and most of them weren't working. Um, so I've spent the past year, I mean, just going through one by one, bringing them into my garage, repairing them, and then putting them back in my storage. For people who want to find you, when are you open? When are your hours? We're um, 3 to midnight, Tuesday through Saturday for now. Um, we're going we're gonna to go with that schedule for a little bit and just see how it goes. Very cool. So you have wine, beers, and bugs. And when I'm talking bugs, I'm talking centipede because I'm eyeing that centipede machine over there. Now, we're going to have Marlise and Doug join us here in just a few minutes. We're going to do a little friendly competition. If you know anything about the three of us, you know it's nothing friendly about it. We'll be right back. All right. Okay, well, we've showed you what Barricade is all about. Now it's time to put up or shut up as we find out who is the king or queen of Arcade. That's next. You're watching KPBI News at 10. News that works for you. So a few minutes ago, we showed you what Barricade is all about. And now it's time to put our Arcade skills to the test. Take a look. All right, back here at Barcade in Pocatello, and look who showed up, Marlies. Hi. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, who's up for a little friendly retro arcade competition? Oh. Right here. Marlies, she's a little nervous. You I can haven't seen half of these games in, like, 20 years. 20? Well, Maybe 30. <laughs> it's probably that's being, about, yeah, 30 that's being generous. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, Doug, do you remember playing arcades? Uh, oh, I do. Oh, yeah, at Pine Ridge Mall, they had... Uh, a lot. That's right. And we used to go there all the time. And then they had a pizza parlor called Godfather's. You remember those? Oh, Godfather's? I remember, I remember the all-you-can-eat oh, pizza. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was great. They had asteroids there. 
And that, that was the first place that I was actually introduced to that game. My cousin, who was five years older than me, he could lick me so bad at that game. But it was awesome. I loved it. So that was one of my favorites. And then he also introduced me to Centipede. So I'm going to do I'm Centipede. Centipede. Remember Centipede. I remember Centipede. I remember Centipede. I remember Centipede. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. so we're going to have a little friendly competition. Each one of us is going to pick one arcade game. Okay. We're going to see all three will play that one game, see who gets the highest score. Whoever gets the most highest scores will be the video game games champion. Next, and we'll get a trophy? Yes. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> so, Doug, which game did you pick? Centipede. Do it, Centipede. centipede. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with the car game. It's a tradition. The, the car game. You mean pole position? Pole position. Oh, pole position. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go old school. I'm going to go classic Donkey Kong. So we've got... So we've got Centipede, we've got Pole Position and Donkey Kong. May the best person win. Thank you, I will. Just by watching the video, who do you think won? I think it's you. I mean, it was your idea. <laughs> well, that's why I let you guys pick your own arcade game that, you know, you would pick your strength. The one where I was pushing the button, my arm <laughs> hurt from it. Yeah, like, I almost had to call kind of, into work. <laughs> yeah, an old arcade injury kind of re-aggravated oh, that. Oh, wow. Well, the results may surprise you. Okay. We'll find out those results coming up. Okay, so the three of us played those arcade games to see who could become king or queen of the arcade. <laughs> right. <laughs> Doug, you chose Centipede. All three of us played Centipede. Yep. So let's see that score there. So for Centipede, Marlies, oh, 9,000. Nice. Matt, 11,000. Oh, Doug, 6,000. Oh, this was your game that you chose. I know. I thought for sure I had this one licked. I was so, like, Marlies, she doesn't even know what that I, word means. I, I did not. <laughs> and Marlies, you chose that car game called the Pole Position. Game. And here's the scores. Oh. You did pretty good. Uh, it was a close. Oh, I beat you? Between yeah. Between Marlies oh, wow. and Doug. Uh, okay. Once again, first place, yeah, Matt. Uh, 19,000, okay, whatever. Yeah. And then the final game, this one is just gravy because one, two out of three. Look what? at those. Oh, my goodness. Weren't you, like, <laughs> number one on that game? I came close. Uh, he I went back close. and played again after uh, we left. Uh, That's so how dedicated no, 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 that was. No, 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 this was the one when you were watching. This yes. is, yeah. Can we go back to pole position? <laughs> go back one slide? Yeah, can we Let's do that, this. Mr. Director? Brian, no. Oh, I think, well, anyway. There it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, now... I will say this, Justin, who was shooting this whole thing, uh -huh. our, our camera guy, he came afterwards and beat your score by, I think, 10,000, Matt. What? Okay. 